If you want to learn Photoshop, Photoshop Week is the place to do it. Everybody has a different take on Photoshop. What's important, what tools they use most often. Maybe one person can say something and it might not resonate with you. You can always switch to someone else. They could be saying the exact same thing, but it's just the tone of voice or the example that they use that you learn from. It's absolutely essential that all of us teach different things and come from different backgrounds, but to have this many industry experts with their own specialties and the things they love to teach, showing all their favorite techniques and, and passing on this information is just an amazing opportunity for people to learn. The people who are coming in to learn have the option of taking a little bit from here and a little bit from there and putting it all together in, and, and creating their own unique experience and their own unique set of skills. The great thing about working this way, I think, is you're never finished. Selections and masking are really the foundation of Photoshop. Masks and blend modes, I mean, they open up the world to creativity. The beautiful thing about Camera Raw is it's completely non-destructive. By working non-destructively, it means I've got all this flexibility. The threshold is at what point does the filter kick in, and I can actually bring back in the pore structure of Grandpa. Sharpening really just lightens the light pixel a little bit more and darkens the dark pixel a little bit more. The word pixel is actually a conjunction from two words, picture, element. And this is the one keyboard shortcut that I want everybody to remember here, is the Option or Alt key. And if you click that while you're pulling the hue slider, you will temporarily get a 100% saturation. You should watch Photoshop Week, whether you're advanced or a beginner. It's just they touch on all different bases. I think you can get whatever you want out of it, and that's what's great about getting to choose which courses you go to. You know, if, if you want something for video, you can do that. If you want to perfect your layers, you can, you can do that. So it's really, I think you can really pick and choose what areas you want to get better in, but getting better in one of them will probably help you overall when you're using Photoshop. So you can't, you can't lose.